Next is the connectedness in undirected graph. An undirected graph is called connected if there is a path between every pair of distinct vertices of the graph. Otherwise, the graph is called as a disconnected. For example, a graph G1 is connected because in this graph, we will get at least one path between each pair of vertices. For example, you want a path that starts from a D and ends at B. Is this is possible in this graph? So answer is yes. You can start from a vertex D, then you can move to the vertex A, then you can go to the B vertex. So there is a path of length 2 that starts from D, then A and we will go to the B vertex. Moreover, there are multiple paths that start from D and ends at B. So you can choose this path D to A, then A to C, then C to B. Even there is another path D to A, A to C, then you can go back to D, then move to A and go at B. Similarly, we can find a path between any pair of two distinct vertices in this graph. Even we can say that there is a simple path between every pair of vertex and this is only for the connected undirected graph. Whereas graph G2 is not connected, why not it is connected because we can start from A then we can move to B but from B vertex we cannot move to the vertex D or C because there is a no edge between these two vertices. Therefore, this graph G2 is called as a disconnected graph. Moreover, we will say that G2 has two connected component. One is A to B. This is a connected component of a graph G2 and the second is a C to D. Next is a connectedness in a directed graph. So, there is a two categories in this case. One is called as a strongly connected graph and another is called as a weakly connected graph. Strongly connected graph means in a directed graph, if there is a path from A to B, then there must be a path from B to A, where A and B are the vertices of the graph. It means if you pick a, any pair of vertex and if there is a path from vertex A to B from the first vertex to the second then there must be a path from a vertex second to the first one whereas weakly connected graph means it is a graph is a connected in the underlying undirected graph what do you mean by this one it means we will ignore the direction of edges after that we will check whether the graph is connected or not so, if the graph is connected by removing the direction over the edges, then it means graph is a weakly connected. Note that every strongly connected graph is weakly connected one. So, if the graph is strongly connected, what does it mean? If there is a path from a vertex A to B, then there must be a path from B to A. So, if you remove the directions from that graph, Still, it will be a connected one. It means it is also a weakly connected graph. Now, from here, we need to predict whether these two graphs are strongly connected or a weakly connected. So, to find that whether the graph G is a strongly connected, the procedure is you will find a path from a vertex A to B, then A to C, then A to D, then A to E. Then again you will find whether there is a path from B to A, B to C, B to D or B to A and same for the rest of the vertices. So rather than checking this one whether there is a path between each distinct pair of vertices, it's better to check if there is a circuit that cover each vertex along with the given direction. So let's try to find a circuit that cover each vertex with the help of directions. So let's start from the vertex A. From the vertex A, then we will move towards the B. Then we will move towards the C. Then C to D. Then D to E. Then E to A. 
so with the help of direction we have found that there exists a circuit that cover each and every vertex it means definitely the graph is strongly connected so you can start from any vertex then you can reach to the any other vertex suppose you are starting from the vertex d you want to reach at a vertex a so the procedure is from b you can jump to the c then you can go to the d then d to e and then e to a so there exists a path that starts from b and ends at a similarly there is a path from a to b so one single edge in that path so it's a path of length 1 it means this graph is strongly connected and we know that every strongly connected is a weakly connected so this graph is also a weakly connected now what about the graph h whether this is a strongly connected or not so you can check it there does not exist any path that start from a vertex at a and ends at b or we can say that we cannot find a circuit that cover each and every vertex with the help of the given direction so there is a trick to find that graph is not strongly connected only for not strongly connected so if the in degree or out degree of any vertex is zero definitely the graph is not strongly connected trick is if the in degree or out degree of any vertex is zero then the graph is not strongly connected so suppose the in degree of any vertex is zero so what does it means it means no edge is ending at that vertex it means we cannot find a path that ends at that vertex so if out degree is zero of any vertex means there does not exist any path that start from that vertex so in this case you can identify that the in degree of a vertex a is 2 whereas the out degree of this vertex is zero so definitely there does not exist any path that starts from a so it means this graph is not a strongly connected now whether this is a weakly connected so answer is yes just remove the direction over the edges now check it whether the graph is a connected one yes the undirected graph is a connected of this one so therefore this graph is a weakly connected but not strongly connected